how do you validate or how do you check that an email address is valid so if i give you this input you say okay this one is valid and this one is invalid in 90 percent of the cases the answer would be well i would use regular expressions and your code would look something like in this example here so you would um, have uh, an expression that checks for the specific format this can be more complex or even easier depending on how good you are with regular expressions and what expression you um, want to use and then you would just uh, write a couple of if statements that check whether uh, the email is in or that the email matches the um, regular expression well it is a lot of code here plus um, like I said you have if you make changes to the regular expression or if your regular expression is uh, too complex then it may be hard to understand it may um, give you the wrong result plus um, there's one check here that is not being made and that check is um, you're not really I mean you're checking for format you're checking for text you're checking for patterns but in this case if I would say um, raster test at raster test dot com I mean that would pass as being a valid email but that's not because restertest.com does not yet exist so what if I told you I have a solution for you in four or five lines of code and that solution is using the email validator uh, library from or package from um, uh, that you can install in, in, in Python and to validate that an email is valid you just do the import so you import uh, validate email and you import also um, email not valid error you give it the email that you want to check and then you basically just do a try and accept block so you try that the email uh, is valid and in case it's not valid you'll just throw an error so let me show you how this works now we get the domain name my domain dot tld does not exist because well, it doesn't if I would change this to gmail.com and run it I get nothing because my plus address at gmail.com is actually valid if I would modify this something like I don't know my gmail I get the validation that I need one at sign and if I do only add here There must be something before that and so I get all of the code or all of the information on all of the validations that I wanted to achieve or that I achieved with regular expression I get it with one import statement a try and an accept block and what did all this take it took actually less than five minutes so have a look at it try it I'll post uh, in the description the links to how to use it, the links to the other example, and as always, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye-bye.